I'm the ghost with the most, babe. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times, and it keeps getting funnier every time I say it! Hey, you guys, um, I'm back with my second Halloween look. Hopefully, you can tell that it is Beetlejuice inspired. I even tried to draw on the little outfit, but that no, was terrible, terrible, terrible. But, anyways, if you want to see how I got this Beetlejuice look, then keep on watching. It's showtime! So first I'm going to be using some toilet paper and some liquid latex to create like the mold or the fun guy or whatever the hell he has on his face because growing because you know he's dead. So I will be using some toilet paper just to make it look um, like uh, clumpy kind of, you know. And the liquid latex I'm using is just like your basic $2 one you can find at your nearest Halloween store. And I've had this one for like a year and it still works pretty well. I probably shouldn't be using it anymore, but it still works pretty good. And um, once I have it folded and clumpy the way I like, I put I apply the latex on top so it can stick together. And also putting latex where the toilet paper and skin meet so it lays flat. It looks like um it looks more not natural because of course this is a natural but it looks more not fake you know it blends in with the skin more and he just has some like a lot around his hairline he has some a couple spots near his mouth and some on his neck so i'm just doing that right now also, you guys, I am not naked. I promise you I am not naked. I'm just wearing a shirt, like a, um, like, like a spaghetti strap, but I have the straps down. I promise you. And now I am just putting, uh, white Mayron Paradise paint all over my face. You know how I do. Also, this is like a Tim Burton Beetlejuice and the uh, old cartoon Beetlejuice combined. So that's why the the makeup's white. And the Tim Burton Beetlejuice, his face is kind of white, but more... It's like extremely pale, but it's not like white, white like this one is. Now I'm taking some yellow and green cream paints. They're like $2. I think they're a dollar. And I'm mixing them together. And I am just applying that all over where I had put the toilet paper. And like patting it in and also going over the toilet paper. Because some of that is going to get green too. Now I am taking the green NYX Primal Color and patting it all over that. Also putting it where, all, like all around it. Where my hairline is. Just greening up my whole face, you know. And now I am going in with Mayron's Amazon Green uh, paint and just applying that again and again. Patting where the skin and toilet paper meet. Because, um, even though he has some mold, he does have some green still chilling there, you know? So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Now I'm going in with the Camody Mi Vida Loca palette. This was her holiday palette from, uh, last year. And I'm going in that green shade just to add some shading, make it more greener, you already know. And I'm just going, doing that padding buffing motion all over those uh, toilet paper spots even putting even putting it where toilet paper isn't you know just to dirty me up you know cuz Beetlejuice is dead and he's dirty like dirty dirty and now I'm going back into that palette into that dark green shade and it's kind of like a metallic shade but it's okay it doesn't show just to darken it up more, you know, just apply any green, like a bunch of green shadows on top of this hoe, you know. Because it is Beetlejuice, you know. And now I am finally drying out my eyes. Just trying to do it perfect, but they came out like crap, you already know. Literally when I thought I was doing it, I was like, damn, these came out pretty good, but no. Now I am taking that purple shade from the Urban Decay Electric Palette and the Black NYX Primal Color and mixing them together to make the perfect dark purple shade for those eyes. Uh, Tim Burton Beetlejuice, he, he, they're not this big, but in the cartoon they're pretty big, so I was like, I'm just gonna make them the size I want. And also they're not blended out that much, so I just hardly was like tapping at the ends, you know. 
barely, just a little, just a little. And now I'm taking NYX Primal Color in black and just adding some black on that green, going over, like past the toilet paper, just to get some black on me, you already know. And yeah, I'm just doing that all over. Even in, uh, like where I would contour, I'm putting some black. And in Tim Burns Beetlejuice, he doesn't really wear a uh, lipstick. I think he wears like a nude color just to make him look more pale. But you know, I gotta go in with a dark lip. So I am taking Pretty Zombie Cosmetics Transylvania shade and wearing it as lipsticks. And yas, girl, kill it. And now I'm going in NYX Primal Color Black and contouring my face a little bit. Just a little. Of course, going in with that jawline, because chin's for days, you know? I need to fool these dead hoes and think I have a jawline. Yep. Now, we are going in with the body art, you guys. This is my first time. Never done this before, so bear with me, you know? And also, I'm just using a, a Beetlejuice, like, picture from the movie. So first I decided I should start with a collar, and I was like, okay, this is too thin, so I just made it a little bit bigger. Also, I drew the little tie-on, and you can't even really see that right now. But yeah. Um, this... It actually came out a lot better than I thought it would come out. Also, I just wanted to do this so y'all could get a little bit more into the Beetlejuice look. Because you know, my broke ass is not gonna go by... A uh, black and white striped razor. Where would you even find that at? Like, hell no. So now I'm just drawing on, like, the, uh, not the collar, but, like, the, what the hell is it? Like, the lapels? Is that what they're called? I don't know what the hell. But the lapels, uh, I, don't think, I don't think they were called that. But <laughs> the stripes are, like, diagonal, and the rest of the suit is, uh, vertical, and then on the arms, it's horizontal. So I'm just sketching out the lines real quick. I just, I did this as messy as possible. Like, I was like, I ain't gonna spend that much time. So now I'm just coloring in the spots where the white is, like on the collar, on a couple of the spots on the lapels. That's not the name of them, but let's just go with it. And the white on uh, my arms. Uh, Beetlejuice, uh, one of his outfits is, it's like a button up with a black tie and then like horizontal striped tux or whatever, or like razor, is that what it's called? Razor blade? No, it's not razor blade. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whatever the hell. So yeah, now I'm just coloring in all that white. Uh, remember you guys, I am not naked. I promise you I'm not. Not naked. Also, I did one side, like, I was like, ooh, I should just make them different, like, one side to make it look cool, but it ended up looking weird. I'll never do it again. I regret it. So, I'm just gonna, I'll do the, what I should do the next time. And now I'm going in with the black, coloring in the black. And this is, like, the messiest, this is the messiest outfit drawn on, the messiest body art I've ever seen, but... Just work with it. I think it made me look more like Beetlejuice. I was like, hell yeah. And my dumbass forgot about this little white spot. I was like, why do I look weird? And that was why. Now I'm going in with NYX Primal Color and then the Mayron Body Paint in white. And adding some lighting and shading, you know? Uh, of course, there would be some shading where the collarbone is. Under the collar... Under the lapels, that's not what it's called, but let's just call it that. And yeah, that's basically it. And also, I'm coloring in some white. I'm going in the Mayron paint with a fan brush, and that's putting that all over my hair. And yeah, because I was like, okay, Beetlejuice hair isn't black. So yeah, this is my Beetlejuice-inspired Halloween look. I really love the way it came out. The clothes aren't realistic as they can be. I should probably be wearing this actual outfit but poor bitch poor bitch so yeah um please if you like this video if you like the way it came out then give it a thumbs up and subscribe so yeah um my next halloween video will be up sometime next week bye